Right, so figure four mouse trap now because I found out from the trail cam footage that the figure four rat trap seemed to be too big and hefty to catch a mouse. Um, the other one, if you look at the other video, you'll see it. it was similar setup, it was a live catch version. Now, in Mark Hovell's book, he's got the same setup with the treadle plate, but it's a deadfall. Now, I reckon it would have definitely worked as a deadfall, but it doesn't work so well being a live catch trap because the trigger stick is attached to the treadle plate. And when it goes off, this can't be flipped away or moved very far. It ends up holding whatever box you're using off the ground slightly. Now with a mouse, only a slightest little gap and that will get out. Um, this one may work because the gap is only small because these sticks are really small. But I'll show you some trail cam footage at the end of this and the other trap. Because the problem is, like I said, I've made two rat traps but there seems to be no rats either coming in the garden. I haven't actually seen any rats. So there may not be any, but they're not going to the traps. But loads of mice are. Um, and obviously being set up for rats, the mice won't set, set any of the traps off. So I'm going to make a couple of mouse sized versions. But um, I do reckon that the the figure four rat trap would have worked if it had been a deadfall because it would have crushed anyway but not so well as a live catch so I've made a smaller version I'll move this around in a minute so you can see it goes off very easy and is quite hard to set but then that's quite a good sign so figure four with a treadle plate now this one I've had to make it out of cardboard because it had to be light because no matter what weight I put on that it was setting it off and just would not stay. So the whole thing is one, except for the trigger, the whole thing is one self-contained piece. Got a hinge at the back, mesh at the top. Oh, look, so I'll move this around in a minute, but so you can see it from this angle. So I'll set it off, then we'll see whether the trigger stick clears or not and how much gap. It should go off relatively easy. Right, so that went off pretty good, and it is a small gap, you see, and that pretty much happens every time. Now, I suppose you could cut a piece out here, which I may do in the future. I'll leave it like this for now, because this may work. I'll try it, and I'll try it with a trail cam. But the other one, when it was all put together, it's like three times the size of this. The the the. I think the first night the mouse seemed to set it off but I never got it on camera the rest of the nights I saw the mouse on that on the treadle plate so I even glued the bait on it hoping that they would you know, really get on it but it wouldn't set it off so I can show you this a bit better now so I've actually hinged it at the back so it stays works a lot better when it's hinged two bits of wood screwed together to make one piece at the bottom the treadle plate like I said is cardboard so this isn't going to work very well in wet but if I have it under a shelter it should work alright this should stay dry as you can see that's the lid now at the back I have left a little bit of a gap and that is <laughs> this might sound weird but if the mouse is in this side <coughs> and the trap comes down, it shouldn't catch it by the tail. That should just be enough for its tail. If its tail is in the way, its tail shouldn't get crushed. Because this is a live trap, you don't want to injure animals. Different if it's a kill trap, but you still don't want to be cruel regardless. So it's got a slight gap all the way around to stop the tail being crushed. And obviously when this lands, it creates an unwanted gap at the front. But I think that may hold a mouse. It's not heavy, but it's probably heavy enough for a mouse. And I've done this by the top part by putting three bits of wood in the corners, nailing them, screwing them all. This part of 
this piece of wood here is purely just because the screws I had was coming through and protruding. So that doesn't need to be there. And that's just because the screws were sticking out. And a piece of string looped through two holes. Looped through there. To hold the treadle plate at the back. And one piece there. Now I'll set it. But I'm not going to lie. This sometimes takes a fair bit of time. Oh yeah, I'll show you the trigger as well. Now this trigger might seem like it's all sorts of weird different shapes but the purely that is the reason it's all different weird shapes is because I'm trying to shave as much wood off as possible so these could just be straight but especially this one I've tried to shave wood off the bottom there shave it off there so it holds because otherwise it won't hold that's your the bit that holds it up and that's the other piece and it's a figure four trigger which works great if it is pushed down. Now I wanted to mark this because what I had to do on the box trap is I marked all the areas with a pen where the trigger works great when it's set up if that makes sense. I should have done the same with this one really. And that's best once you've got it in position to just push it down at the top and then carefully loop the treadle plate over. Not quite. Earlier on this took me ages to get this set. What I really ought to do, like I said, is, is actually mark mark a space at the bottom and mark a piece there. You know where all the actual figure four goes itself, but if you can work out the best area for the actual trigger to sit here and here, it makes it ten times easier. So it's holding without the treadle plate on. Now I see if I can get the treadle plate on. Right, so now it's holding. But I'm not gonna lie, it goes off very easily. And it was going off earlier on, even when I just blew on it. <laughs> see what I mean? So hopefully it will hold, it should go off at the slightest touch. I've been trying to just set it up and just leave it set and then that way I knew it would hold but it will go off at the slightest touch best thing I think is just to see if it will hold there now yeah put the pressure back on top of you with this finger hook that on Because the other thing is I don't want to put too much weight on top because the more weight you've got on top the more your figure four kinds of just binds together and when they bind together really hard they're really hard to set off so it seems to be the perfect setup so what I may do is I'll just mark it there I know if I get that piece there that's right and if I get this piece here, that should go up, that should set up pretty easy. Now you know where all your bits of your actual figure four go. Well, like I said, I had to do this. I had to do this with the other one as well, with the box trap. 
I'll see how easy it is now I've marked it. So I'll set this up later in the garden with the trail cam and then as long as it doesn't go off in the night by a bit of wind or by itself we'll see if we can catch something. But like I said that's the only problem making slightly larger traps if you've got loads of mice in your garden. They just go in it eat everything but don't set none of the traps off well, hopefully if they don't move too much I'll stay yeah so quite promising I reckon the other one would have definitely caught a rat or probably a squirrel but right outside the back door nothing was coming there like that it's purely mice at night right so I'll set this up um, later on show you some trail cam footage and then today I'll show you some trail cam footage of the other traps <laughs> 